I really don't know why it is that all of us are so committed to the sea. I think it's because we all came from the sea. And it is an interesting biological fact that all of us have in our veins the exact same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean. And therefore we have salt in our blood, in our sweat, in our tears. We are tied to the ocean and when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch it, we are going back from whence we came. John F. Kennedy, 1962, The Sea. Eternal reefs. Turn your loved one's remains into a living coral reef. Eternal reefs was formed to provide an ecologically sound option for the dispersal of cremation remains. By integrating the remains into the concrete used to build artificial reefs, we seek to provide permanent living memorials that are ecologically sound for our environment and cost effective for the consumer. Eternal Reefs offers the only permanent, environmentally positive option available today to memorialize a loved one's passing. Burial takes up valuable land and can possibly introduce chemicals into the local environment. Scattering provides a neutral environmental effect. Our mission is to provide an environmentally positive cremation memorial option that helps restore and protect our world's ocean ecosystems through the development and use of natural looking and ecologically sound memorial reefs. We utilize reef balls that are the state of the art in designed artificial reef modules with over 50,000 units in over 500 locations worldwide. Each reef module is designed to last 500 years or more. These units have passed all stability tests by the government and Mother Nature. Reef Ball and Eternal Reefs emphasize ongoing research, public education, and community involvement for reefs that promote and support natural species diversity and population density. Carlton Glenn Palmer, a parent of one of the Reef Ball group members, requested that his cremated remains be put in a memorial reef. Carlton was a musician who desired to have the rhythm of the sea around him for eternity. As Carlton put it, I can think of nothing better than having all that action going on around me all the time after I'm gone. Just make sure that the location has lots of red snapper and grouper. He also appreciated the environmental legacy the reef would leave for his grandchildren. On May 1st, 1998, Carlton's Memorial Reef was created and was soon deployed. Immediately, fish began to inhabit the reef and natural marine life started to form. A year and a half later, Carlton's Reef is a sight to behold. We believe he would be very pleased with the life and excitement that has taken hold on his memorial reef. This story has been told to many people. The overall response has been wonderful. Most people agree that this is a dignified and spiritual way to be laid to rest. Out of this personal experience, Eternal Reefs was created. Your eternal reef can help save the oceans. Over centuries, man's activities and natural disasters have led to a reduction in our natural reef systems. Recreational growth in sports fishing, scuba diving, and boating has increased the pressures on our reef systems. And the commercial interest of our seafood industry is dependent on developing the ocean to enable ever larger yet sustainable harvests. The sea nurtures life from the smallest to the largest creatures on earth. Man's reckless disregard and lack of respect for the ocean's ecosystems put all life in jeopardy. The natural reefs cannot rebuild themselves fast enough to meet our demands. Long-lasting artificial reefs are useful tools for restoring our reef systems to a natural and productive balance. 
Your eternal wreath provides not only a permanent memorialization option for your loved one, but simultaneously addresses this environmental emergency. Your eternal wreath becomes an environmental legacy for generations to come. Eternal Reefs Offerings The individual's remains can be added to any of the following units during the creation of your eternal reef. All individual reef offerings come with a bronze plaque and two memorial certificates. The Atlantis is 4 feet high by 6 feet wide and weighs 3,500 to 3,800 pounds. It is the largest of our memorials. This memorial stands out as a pinnacle of the reef and will attract the larger species of sea life. The Nautilus is 3 feet high by 4 feet wide and weighs 1,200 to 1,500 pounds. This is the building block of a massive reef structure. These memorials provide excellent habitats for all types of sea life. The Aquarius is 2 feet high by 3 feet wide and weighs 350 to 400 pounds. It is the most compact of our memorials. This memorial is excellent for sea life close to shore or in combination with other modules out in deeper waters. The Community Reef contains a total of 33 reef modules made up of 3 Atlantis, 10 Nautilus, and 20 Aquarius and incorporates 100 individuals remains. This option is cost effective yet the individual is part of a large reef. We have found that this combination of units creates an ideal reef for large and small creatures alike. The community reef will take up about the space of two basketball courts. Options available. Memorial plaques. A six inch round bronze plaque with name, dates, inscription, and ID number is attached to all individual memorial reefs. Extra plaques can be ordered as mementos. Certificates. Two certificates come with each eternal reef. Extra certificates can be ordered as keepsakes for family and friends. Dedication and deployment. Friends and family members can arrange to attend the deployment of their loved one's eternal reef to help provide for closure for those attending. Locations. The locations for eternal reefs are varied. We try to place reefs where they are ecologically most needed. Eternal reefs can be specified for use in one of two basic types of settings. A marine sanctuary reef, which is found in a protected area that is focused on rebuilding the local ecosystem and providing a sanctuary for the marine life. Or a diving and fishing reef, which, as the name indicates, is in location for public recreation and enjoyment. This also improves the ecosystem but is not protected from the harvesting of the reef's bounty. We donate the reef units to state, county, and local artificial reef programs to be added to ongoing reef development programs. Please tell us what area you would prefer and we will do our best to accommodate your wishes. The process of building an eternal reef. After making a decision to have one's remains added to an eternal reef's memorial reef, a few simple steps will put the program in motion. We will order any plaques and provide you with a tentative time frame for creation and deployment of the eternal reef. If you wish to be present for the deployment, arrangements will need to be made at this time. Please keep in mind that this is a construction project of sorts and can be delayed due to weather or other issues. We will do our best to accommodate any family wishes within reason. The remains and plaques will be transported to our work location where the eternal reef will be created. The customer identification code and plaque will be secured to the mold before the casting of the memorial reef. The remains will then be integrated into a liquid concrete mixture to form the memorial reef. The next day the mold will be opened and the eternal reef will be moved to a curing area to further harden before it is deployed. This takes about four to six weeks. 
During the deployment and dedication of the Eternal Reef, the exact location will be recorded along with the customer identification code. This identification will ensure that you know where to find your reef. At this point, the Eternal Reef is in place. The certificates and keepsake plaques will be created and sent to the executor. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Eternal Reefs. We hope that this video has answered most of your questions. Please review our Frequently Asked Questions page for more information. Also, visit our website, eternalreefs.com, for more information and your personal Eternal Reefs declaration form or call 404-966-7333.